A sandwich is a food typically consisting of vegetables, sliced cheese or meat, placed on or between slices of bread, or more generally any dish wherein two or more pieces of bread serve as a container or wrapper for another food type. The sandwich began as a portable finger food in the Western world, though over time it has become prevalent worldwide. Sandwiches are a popular type of lunch food, taken to work, school, or picnics to be eaten as part of a packed lunch. The bread can be either plain, or coated with condiments such as mayonnaise or mustard, to enhance its flavor and texture. As well as being homemade, sandwiches are also widely sold in restaurants and can be served hot or cold. There are both savory sandwiches, such as deli meat sandwiches, and sweet sandwiches, such as a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. The sandwich is named after its supposed inventor, John Montague, 4th Earl of Sandwich. The Wall Street Journal has described it as Britain's. Biggest contribution to gastronomy. Topic History. The modern concept of a sandwich using slices of bread as found within the West can arguably be traced to 18th century Europe. However, the use of some kind of bread or bread-like substance to lie under or under and over some other food, or used to scoop up and enclose or wrap some other type of food, long predates the 18th century, and is found in numerous much older cultures worldwide. The ancient Jewish sage Hillel the Elder is said to have wrapped meat from the paschal lamb and bitter herbs in a soft matzah—flat, unleavened bread—during Passover in the manner of a modern wrap made with flatbread. Flat breads of only slightly varying kinds have long been used to scoop or wrap small amounts of food en route from platter to mouth throughout Western Asia and Northern Africa. From Morocco to Ethiopia to India, bread is baked in flat rounds, contrasting with the European loaf tradition. During the Middle Ages in Europe, thick slabs of coarse and usually stale bread, called trenchers, were used as plates. After a meal, the food-soaked trencher was fed to a dog or to beggars at the tables of the wealthy, and eaten by diners in more modest circumstances. The immediate culinary precursor with a direct connection to the English sandwich was to be found in the Netherlands of the 17th century, where the naturalist John Ray observed that in the taverns beef hung from the rafters, which they cut into thin slices and eat with bread and butter laying the slices upon the butter. Explanatory specifications that reveal the Dutch belegged brugge, open-faced sandwich, was as yet unfamiliar in England. Initially perceived as food that men shared while gaming and drinking at night, the sandwich slowly began appearing in polite society as a late-night meal among the aristocracy. The sandwich's popularity in Spain and England increased dramatically during the 19th century, when the rise of industrial society and the working classes made fast, portable, and inexpensive meals essential. In London, for example, at least 70 street vendors were selling ham sandwiches by 1850. During that decade, sandwich bars also became an important form of eating establishment in Western Holland, typically serving liver and salt beef sandwiches. In the United States, the sandwich was first promoted as an elaborate meal at supper. By the early 20th century, as bread became a staple of the American diet, the sandwich became the same kind of popular, quick meal as was already widespread in the Mediterranean. Language The first written usage of the English word appeared in Edward Gibbon's journal, in longhand, referring to bits of cold meat as a sandwich. It was named after John Montague, 4th Earl of Sandwich, an 18th century English aristocrat. It is said that he ordered his valet to bring him meat tucked between two pieces of bread, and others began to order the same as sandwich. It is commonly said that Lord Sandwich was fond of this form of food because it allowed him to continue playing cards, particularly cribbage, while eating, without using a fork, and without getting his cards greasy from eating meat with his bare hands. The rumor in its familiar form appeared in Pierre Jean Grosley's Londres, Nucatel, 1770, translated as A Tour to London in 1772. Grosley's impressions had been formed during a year in London in 1765. The sober alternative is provided by Sandwich's biographer, N. A. M. Roger, who suggests Sandwich's commitments to the Navy, and to politics and the arts, mean the first sandwich was more likely to have been consumed at his desk. Before being known as sandwiches, this food combination seems to simply have been known as bread and meat, or bread and cheese. 
These two phrases are found throughout English drama from the 16th and 17th centuries. In the United States, a court in Boston, Massachusetts ruled in 2006 that a sandwich includes at least two slices of bread and under this definition, this court finds that the term sandwich is not commonly understood to include burritos, tacos, and quesadillas, which are typically made with a single tortilla and stuffed with a choice filling of meat, rice, and beans. The issue stemmed from the question of whether a restaurant that sold burritos could move into a shopping center where another restaurant had a no-compete clause in its lease prohibiting other sandwich shops. In Spain, where the word sandwich is borrowed from the English language, it refers to a food item made with English sandwich bread. It is otherwise known as a bocadillo. Similar usage applies in other Spanish-speaking cultures, such as Mexico, where the word torta is also used for a popular variety of roll-type sandwiches. In the United Kingdom and Australia, the term sandwich is more narrowly defined than in the United States, it refers only to an item which uses sliced bread from a loaf. An item with similar fillings, but using an entire bread roll cut horizontally in half, is always referred to as a roll. In South Australia, there is a regional variant of the roll, superficially similar to a club sandwich, where the bread roll is sliced three times with parallel cuts, and filling is put in the first and third openings, but not the second. This makes the resulting double cut roll easier to handle, the top half and the bottom half are eaten separately. Any hot item based on a bread roll is referred to as a burger, never as a sandwich. However, hot sliced not ground beef between two slices of toasted bread is referred to as a steak sandwich. It is the sliced loaf bread that distinguishes the steak sandwich from a burger. The verb to sandwich has the meaning to position anything between two other things of a different character or to place different elements alternately. And the noun sandwich has related meanings derived from this more general definition. For example, an ice cream sandwich consists of a layer of ice cream between two layers of cake or biscuit. Similarly, Oreos and custard creams are described as sandwich biscuits UK, Commonwealth, or sandwich cookies US because they consist of a soft filling between the baked layers. The word buddy, a reference to the fact that butter is often used in British sandwiches, is common in some northern parts of England as a slang synonym for sandwich, particularly to refer to certain kinds of sandwiches including the chip buddy, bacon buddy, or sausage buddy, though some people make the distinction that a buddy is made using a single buttered slice, folded over rather than cut. Sarni is a similar colloquialism. Likewise, the word sanger is used for sandwich in Scottish dialect. The colloquial Scottish word piece may refer either to a sandwich or to a light meal, especially one that includes a sandwich. For example, the phrase Geely piece refers to a jam sandwich. Pre-made sandwiches It has been suggested that UK's first pre-made packaged sandwiches were sold by Marks and Spencer in 1980. As they proved wildly popular, a small experiment involving five stores rapidly grew to cover more than 100 stores. Within a year, the store was looking for ways to manufacture sandwiches at an industrial scale. However, the first pre-packed sandwiches date from well before this. British home stores sold pre-packed sandwiches in the 1960s see the Radio Times 3 November 2018 p.167, and earlier even than that, Marks & Spencer Brighton branch began selling them in the 1950s, and then in the 1960s in the Oxford Street branch, London, see the Radio Times 10 November 2018 p.160 In 2017, the sandwich industry made and sold £8 billion in sandwiches in the UK alone. Topic. Varieties Among the many varieties of sandwich popular in the United States are the BLT, cheese sandwich, club sandwich, Dagwood, French dip, hamburger, Monte Cristo, Mifaletta, pastrami on rye, peanut butter and jelly sandwich, cheesesteak, pilgrim, Poe, boy, Reuben, sloppy joe, and submarine. Gallery. equals equals see also